Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. We're glad you joined us today. We live in a culture of fear today. We live with all kinds of things going on in our government, uh, in our world, in our country, in our local areas as well. And some of those things can be very scary. Not only that, but sometimes there are things that happen in your family or in your personal life physical situations, relationship struggles, uh, so many things that are out there today that if we're not careful, they can be scary in our lives. Moses had come to the end of his ministry. He was old. He was getting ready to be replaced by Joshua. And so he comes to the children of Israel and he explains this to them. And then he shares with the children of Israel a promise that each one of us can learn from today. Fear is that thing which stirs within you a rapid heartbeat, a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach, uh, a sense of dread. And listen to what the Lord says to the children of Israel in the process of changing leaders in the midst of trying to take the promised land and do what God has called them to do. He says, be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. Yes, we do not have to be afraid. We do not have to be fear because the Lord, the one who is all powerful and all knowing and everywhere present, he never leaves his children. He never forsakes us. And so let me encourage you today do not live in fear today. Do not live with the cloud hanging over you, that cloud of what if this may happen or what if that may happen. We know that God is with us every moment of every day, of every year, of every decade, as long as we draw the breath of life. And then we go to be in his presence if we are children of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. And so today, may you hear the word of the Lord. Fear not, fear not, do not be afraid because the Lord is with us all the way. Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your presence in our life, your nearness. And Lord, may we today step out in boldness and courage to do the things you called us to do because you are with us. You never leave us and you never forsake us. Lord, we do not have to live in fear. We can live in the knowledge of your power and presence and peace in our lives. Thank you, Father, for loving us that much. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I pray that you'll have a great day in the Lord today.